lot of faith in you too. Either an air sign or a fire sign. You really have faith in like the the relationship, okay? That's just what I get. You're going to make sure that you you get this with this person and if it means that you have to work for it alone to end up there, that's fine. So it may be a one-sided kind of thing is how you feel. Maybe this person doesn't even know how you feel right now. It's like you're working behind the scenes and they don't even know how you feel, but you have ultimate faith that you're going to be able to like get with this person and be with this person, marry them and have a baby. Okay. Let's clarify this Knight of cups for cancer. It's like, they don't even know you're working this hard. They have no idea. I don't feel like they know the love you have. Okay. The, the chariot, more of your energy for the Knight of cups. So you're definitely, you're definitely like on this search. You're definitely like on a path to like get this person. At the top of the deck, we have the 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 death card, Scorpio. So you're definitely moving in your water energy. And even if you're you're getting some, you're you're going after someone who's of a different element. You don't care. You're like gonna be extremely pushy. You're gonna be extremely adamant, extremely um, laser focused. Okay, no one is going to tell you, no one can tell you anything different. Like you're suited up and you're ready to go, you know, do what you have to do. Okay, you, you know that everything, you have like all kinds of confidence with this person. I mean, sheesh, it could be with a fire sign as well that, you know, let's see, seven of wands for cancer. Seven of Wands for Cancer. The justice is in reverse. All right, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you, you're you in sort of like um, a bad place. So now we have him at the bottom who's, who's revealing. So there's something here that isn't quite right about this one-sided, you know, effort. This person may still love you. This person may obviously love you and, and feel for you. But there's something that you're not getting. There's something that you're not understanding. Maybe you feel like you're on like a wild goose chase, Cancer. Maybe you feel like you're you're coming here, you're doing this, you're doing that. You're trying to be of authority. You're trying to be of someone who's just at this stature, you know, someone that they can look up to. But you're coming in sort of... Uh, naive to think that these efforts that you just like okay this is what i have to offer that's it and i'm going to work hard for that i'm going to keep doing it this way just like that that's it and they have to take it because they love me they know me or i'm going to love them or i'm going to be able to take care of them and you're on you're on your hunt like you're coming in as the knight of cups i don't know who would really want a knight of cups in this energy of where you want the lovers. And you're super adamant about it. Super strong feeling. Look at you. You're like Professor X Magneto. You're, you're, you're steering this chariot with your mind. And no matter how powerful those sphinxes are, the sphinx are, you're, they're not even able to, you know, detour you at all with just your mind. So you're definitely going for this person with this much effort. And I feel like you think, you, you don't even feel like it's a lot. You just, because look at the way you're working for this person or you're working for this goal. Your work is not to be presented. Your work is not gonna get anything more than a C, a C plus, you know, cause you're, you're putting in effort. And so the justice card is in reverse, I feel, because first of all, regardless of how you're coming in and if you feel na if you're naive, you're working and it's just though for for a burnt cause, I feel. It's not something that you're going to be able to get a great result out of because you want this. It just seems like it's an injustice for yourself to to put yourself through this for something that you know you're not going to get because you know you're not doing the right thing. You know you're not working the way you should be not that you're not working hard enough see that's the thing they can't no one can tell you you didn't work you know but no one can tell you that you didn't work hard enough but it's like 
where's the justice in that where you're working hard for something you know you're not going to get? So what's the point of working like that? Okay, let's clarify some more for this seven of wands for cancer. I saw it, but I want to see what way it comes up because it flipped. The seven of cups over the seven, over both. It, it really flipped over both. So, and then the six of cups at the bottom. I think it's because you really, well, okay, first of all, you really love this person. You really like this guy, this girl, okay? I feel like you feel this is what this person wants. You, you're trying to speak their language. You're trying to communicate like them. You're trying to basically do everything you can for this air sign and it doesn't seem to be connecting. So you, you know, you're trying to understand which ways you can communicate how you can do things for this air sign and or this Libra and that's why it came up in reverse but I feel like it's an injustice mostly to yourself that you're working this hard for someone who doesn't come up in your spread. I feel like this is someone who's kind of nonchalant that likes you but it's like if you ever you know, said you needed space, they were just like, okay. You know, they didn't take it as serious as the fact that you needed space, okay? Water signs communicate and feel and think in different ways than air signs do, okay? The devil is at the top of the deck. So this has got you in an injustice. It's got you in a really bad place mentally trying to do whatever you can for someone who just doesn't get it the way you need them to understand because then they would be able to see any of your efforts as blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, that's what I understand. Okay, and you're riding off of like, because this is at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and reverse it with the devil at the top. I feel like the devil is lurking this, this whole situation, this whole connection. Okay, it's because of how you're going about it all. Okay, tell me about this king of swords for cancer. Okay, so we have the six of wands in reverse for the king of swords, and we have the eight of cups for the king of swords. First of all, you don't you don't really care who's watching. So if there's people around you who are like telling you you're crazy and stuff like that for wanting someone, you don't care about the group effort. You don't care about if there's a third party. You don't care. You don't even care about like the hurt and things. You're really going after this person. You love you love them, and there's no way that yeah, there's no way that you're gonna stop. You're gonna keep coming up every type of way that you can for this person. Until you make it, until you're, until you're the king or the queen of any aspect with this man or woman, the six of the six of wands in reverse for the for the king of swords is a bit of an ego, is a bit of I think it's I think it's um a wasted effort. I think it's putting on a show for people you're going to end up walking away from. I feel like it's a it's a it's a game for you, Cancer, which doesn't sound right. Judgment just came out, okay? It doesn't sound right, you know, why you would put so much of your effort, Cancer, your time, your love ultimately, right? The most heartfelt water sign into someone that you know you're just going to walk away from. So this could be closure. This could be closure you're looking for. But in the it's like there's two layers of your mind. The front one is like, I need this person, I want this person, but I know that uh, it's the truth, really. The back of it is like, but I love this person, and I really actually just want to be with them if I could teach them a lesson. This fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is like on a, in another world. It's like... Um, Like you two are both in a, in another world. Like look at this. Look at it looks like um inception. Like they live on the on the top and you live on the bottom. Or you see yourself as on top and they're on the bottom. You know what I mean? But really though, this is what it looks, okay? So really in real life it's in reverse, okay? I think it's something like that. That's what I think. 
and you know this, you really do, you know this about this air sign as well, or this fire sign, okay? Tell me some more about the Six of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Cups. For Cancer, please, Spirit, tell me about these two polar opposites. That they, like, they think about each other. They love each other. But Cancer, you have no option. This is at the bottom again, this King of Wands. I was looking at that. Um, you have no option but to listen to your intuition. That's why it's an injustice. That's why it's somewhat of like wasted efforts because you may be trying to, to get, you know, cut in front of the line. You have to wait. There's a knowing here, but the actions oversee the, the knowing, like you just don't care. Like this person is very well off. Okay. They're they're They do good. They're fine in life. But I think it's just opposite of you, what you believe in, they believe in another and you want to somehow bring you two together. Yeah. Okay. With money, they're fine. Tell me about the ace of swords for cancer. Tell me about the Ace of Swords for Cancer. The Death card again. Okay. So we already know what I'm going to say here, right? Eight of Swords at the bottom. Let me see what we got here. Again, these two cards. This Aries that you love, okay, Leo or Sagittarius, is only focused on their money right now. The fact that you're trying to do everything that you can is only coming up. It's not coming up short. It's only coming up as love, as a cup. And for this person, maybe it makes you feel like it's that small, it's that short. Because Cancer's love is like a freaking ace of cups, but if anything, like a goddamn, you know, water tower. And so... That's just how this person makes you feel and that's why you're kind of out of whack and you feel like you're coming up short. So I feel like the reason why you don't have this person is because you know that you're not mentally stable or that you know that you are insecure. And if there's one thing that you know about this person is that, you know, they're not insecure at all or, you know, maybe maybe that's where you bump heads. You feel like this can work if you could just get into the right groove, the right position, and you can't because this person just, you know, at the same time you look at reality and you say, look, dude, like, we're on two complete polar opposites. The death card is here, and it's just saying change your perspective, okay? Change your perspective. Can we get an advice card for cancer? Because it's like if you're working towards a goal right now, which seems like you're mainly working towards a goal of mental clarity, okay? Um... We got the five of wands, okay? If you're mainly working towards a goal of men a mental clarity or a goal towards an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, the best thing you can do is change your perspective on them and, 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 and realize that it's not just money or it's not just, it's not just. They don't live, you know, in inception. You know, change that perspective. Let's, that's what I see because you can, that's, that's the goal you're looking to get, Okay. And the mental clarity is just changing your perspective and the fact that this is something. And it'll help the way you work. Okay? Because then you'd be back, you're backtracking. Let's clarify the lovers for cancer. The strength card. A Leo, an Aries. Okay, a fire energy, I meant to say. Be strong because even though you're so ready, you are, Cancer, you're ready to be in love, you're ready to be with this person, this person is still not there, okay? They have, they have like, other things that they'd rather be doing. Queen of Swords is here with this King of Swords and Ace of Swords. So if it's a Gemini, Libra, an Aquarius, or whoever, you guys are direct counterparts for sure, the Temperance card. So right now... Get for yourself. Build for yourself, okay? Worry about yourself first. Get all of what you need to get first because you're doing yourself so many injustice, like it's so many injustices, <laughs> like that 
that's why you feel like you're coming up short. That's why you are coming up short. And that's why you keep reliving this over and over and over. Okay, Cancer, that's what I've got for you. Thank you so much. Bye.